Sword Song is the most powerful sword in Core Keeper, and arguably the best melee weapon. However, it's very hard to get a hold of due to its parts being hard to find. I'll go over the most optimal way to get these parts in this video. The Rune Song requires three main components, the Broken Handle, the Clear Gemstone, and the Chipped Blade. It also costs 50 Iron Bars and 10 Ancient Gemstones, which you would likely have if you were to obtain the blade. It is crafted using the Rune Parchment, which can be purchased from the Cabling Merchant for 2,000 Ancient Coins. The Rune Song is then crafted by using the Rune Parchment with all of the other required items inside of your inventory. Nice, nice! The Broken Handle is arguably the easiest of the unique items to get a hold of with four separate methods. The large maze can be found in the Forgotten Ruins, though not guaranteed. It is very large, as the name implies, and as with most mazes, you must navigate through it to the center to find the Broken Handle. Now, boss rolls are kinda weird, so let me explain them quickly. Boss drops work on a system called a roll, where an item drops out of a pool of possible rewards. Bosses have one main roll, and then a variable amount of extra rolls that each have a lower chance. The number of boss rolls is increased by 1.5 times on hard mode, so a boss could have a primary roll chance of 50% for an item, and then 5-6 to six extra rolls of 9% chance on that exact same item. The Broken Handle has a 14.91% chance to drop from Azios' primary roll, and 3.24% chance rolled 5-6 to six times. The Hive Mother has a 6.67% chance from the main roll, and a 1% for each of the 3 to 5 secondary rolls. The Broken Handle can also be found in chests in the Clay Caves, Forgotten Ruins, and Azios' Wilderness, including their respective locked chests, but I've only seen it in Scarlet Chests personally. The Clear Gemstone is obtained from Medium Mazes in Azios' Wilderness and the Forgotten Ruins. The medium maze is generated once per world, and it is not generated upon world creation. Time for another lesson, this time in chunk and scene generation. Every structure or unique area is called a scene. Basically, anything that doesn't look like a random clump of generation is probably a scene, regardless of importance. Most scenes are generated upon chunk creation rather than world creation. There can be one scene per 64x64 64 64 chunk of a world. Chunks are generated around the player, something around 200x200 200 200 is likely, but I have no concrete idea. According to some active users on the official Corekeeper Discord server and the wikis, chunks can be generated upon world creation near points of interest, such as boss ruins, but I've also heard the opposite. Scenes also theoretically have a higher chance to spawn near the center of chunks, but are not guaranteed to. TLDR, chunks are generated around you, one scene or structure per chunk. Media maze is around 32x32 32 32 tiles large, meaning that it is optimal to mine in straight lines around 32 tiles apart, ideally with one in the center of a chunk. This can be measured with the map tool, link in description, by mining on every half of a chunk. Show mob grid on the map tool displays every quarter of a chunk, so keep that in mind when measuring. You should optimally mine every 32 tiles on chunk borders and centers, ignoring chunks that already have a scene in them. It's ideal to explore the Forgotten Ruins for it first, as it's easier to mine through. The most important factor, though, is checking near explored areas, as it's possible that the medium maze is already generated. And if it is already generated, then it won't generate again. So, having a lot of area discovered means it's probably appeared somewhere off screen while exploring. Put it. Hey! No! Winston! Winston! Lastly, the item I believe to be the hardest to find is the chipped blade. The chipped blade spawns in a scene in Azios' wilderness, which is maybe 20 by 20 tiles. This scene generates three times per world. Mold dungeons and all chunks they expand into count as scenes, so if a chunk has a mold dungeon in it, the chipped blade shrine cannot spawn there. Once the shrine is found, you enter it by holding a glow tulip near the door and claim your blade. Like the clear gemstone, you should avoid chunks that already have scenes in them and try to explore chunks near what's already loaded in, because they are limited to 3 per world. I don't know what the optimal mining pattern is for finding the shrine, but I was told that every 1st and 3rd mob grid line of a chunk works fairly well, and from my experience, I agree. Lastly, the money required to buy the rune scroll itself can be easily obtained from mining the Azios' wilderness while looking for the chipped blade, and then selling the valuables you get from that.
If not, selling ores from drills, figurines, spare drops, or farming loot make fairly good money. Oh yeah, and uh, here's a clip of me crafting the rune song because this took way too long to get. And then you uh, use this item, the rune parchment, and it crafts them. It's crazy. It's zany. Da 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 da! Best sword in the game. Thanks for watching. I make videos, subscribe or something. I don't know, this took a while.